admire, the nerve of her, just saying those things about me and uh, and everyone just let her. It's uh, Itch, I hope she drowns in a That does it. I am going to find some rope, find the nearest tree, and... Hmm? What the... See what the voices in my head have sent me this time. Good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of Strip Search. I am Fanto. Well, in case you couldn't tell from that little profanity-laced intro of mine, I was having the worst day you could possibly imagine. I mean the absolute worst. As in, I wanted to wipe that day off the face of the calendar worst. Yeah, it was that bad. But then, I got this in the mail, and now all is right with the world. This is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Dark Edition. The Witcher is this mature, rather dark RPG. I would say it's similar to Bioware's uh, Dragon Age, but... Actually, I think The Witcher is a bit more mature than Dragon Age because, well, they're a little more conservative with the blood. The Witcher is. The Witcher was originally a PC exclusive game, but then the sequel came out and someone decided to port it to the Xbox 360. Reaction was mixed. Xbox 360 owners were glad that they didn't have to upgrade their high-end PC with hundreds of dollars worth of hardware. But PC owners felt a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Betrayed that the company, uh, CD Projekt Red, would uh, go to the console market. They were angry. Angry! Donkey! Sorry. Uh, anyway, you're not here to listen to me rambling on and on. You're here 
wondering what's in the box. Well, let's find out. Uh, first thing you will notice right off the bat is how unobtrusive the box is. Whereas a lot of my uh, previous strip searches involved boxes that took up like three quarters of the screen, this one is more slim. See? Slim. Now, I want video game developers, publishers, and retailers to take note. This is precisely what a collector's edition box should look like. It should be unimposing, and it should take up just enough to hold whatever's inside, yet not be so large that you need a table for it. Now, I know I'm showing this on a table, but that's because I'm a lazy bum. Anywho, let's open this up, shall we? There we go. There's this plastic thing that's covering the, oh, it's a sleeve. So I believe that I can slide this out. There we go. Oh, by the way, take a look at this manual. They actually list the manual as part of the special edition. Uh, that's just hilarious. Alrighty, so uh, here we have the, the actual box. And it's got more of the plastic thing and this little, I don't know if you could see it, but it's like a wolf emblem thing, which looks vaguely 3D-ish, which I kind of like, actually. Uh, so, let's see here. What else do we have to do to open this? Um, I think if we... Oh! That's cool. It's actually slides out like a drawer. Almost reminds me of the Fable 3 box set, which I have, which I've already uh, opened, but I think I might do a strip search of that someday. Uh, there we go. Inside, we got this uh, book thing with, uh, again, the Witcher logo. And, man, this thing is huge. So, let's see what's inside, shall we? Ooh, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of an art book, actually. Um, I'll just open up to the, uh, What do you think, huh? Nice. And here we have a bunch of stickers. And here we have the game itself. The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Now this is another thing I like. It's just it's a special edition inside a special edition. Oh boy. Ah. So I need to utilize the old scissors again. There we go. Let's see. Ah. 
Ah, okay, here's the inside. And apparently it is on two game discs. One and two. And over here we have the soundtrack. So that's clever of them, including the soundtrack in the actual game. I wonder if the regular one's included as well. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. And let's see, in here we have a map of the Northern Kingdoms. Which I guess is the world in which the uh, uh, Witcher takes place in. And on the and we got some more on the other side. And I'll just show the uh, other side again, just because I feel like it. I have to say this map is a bit more detailed than the Skyrim one. That holds up like that. And here we have a, a making of DVD. Uh, let's see, apparently there are developer diaries, the other videos, and trailers uh, for Love and Blood, Disdain and Fear, Hope Launch. I wonder if these are expansion packs or actual games. Hmm. And here we have the quest handbook, which I guess functions kind of like a uh, strategy guide, but it's also like a novel sort of thing. So that's going to be uh, an interesting read. Last, but certainly not least. Well, actually it's not the last, but we have this little tiny thing. Open it up, and inside this bubble wrap, is a wolf head medallion. You are getting sleepy, very sleepy. Well, at least it fits over my neck easily enough. And I wonder if it's made of pewter. Hmm. Uh, there's also this foam box thing. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I was wrong. Uh, let me just... Uh, arrange this, uh, this stuff here. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is like some sort of foam uh, thing. Um, because I ordered this from GameStop, I got a free little goodie. Another wolf's head. Keychain. Does that look cool or what? So that's about it. And this is precisely what I want in my box. More goodies to justify the higher price tag. And and I believe that all uh, game company should take note from CD Projekt Red and Warner Brothers. Uh, oh, um, just a moment, guys. And I'm back. Though I don't really know why, considering this episode is almost at an end. The contents are also, well, put together and considering how it's only a hundred dollars I'd say you're pretty much getting plenty of bang for your buck. 
So, uh, let's see. The only problem I have is like this outer plastic covering here. It's difficult to get the box back in, but I guess that'll just take some getting used to. It, the plastic thing has the Xbox 360 logo, so that's why I'm keeping it around. So, until next time, I'll... Wait. What's this? Apparently there was something else in the box that The Witcher 2 came in. It's a... bottle of lotion? Why would this be included in the box?